Hello everyone. We are going to look at how to do API testing using Excel. So we already have an API to log in which uses the username and the password as a payload and it signs it. So let's see how we can test the login API of QBank application. So go to Excel cube. First and foremost, create a context. So I create a context API demo. Now this context need not be recorded as this is an API context, you do not have to work with any UI. So you don't need to record any view. So just close this. Now create an action. So we say create an action, we say verify login into QBank using API. Okay, you can add in any description you want. You can select the context which is going to be API demo. Now since this is an API action that we are creating, you need to select is library action because this is not going to go to any destination context or this is not going to go to any destination page, right? So you need to select is library action and work on the current context. So we select is library action, save and continue. Once this is done, you will see that the library action has been created. Now to test APIs, go to the API drop down here. Now we are going to test a REST API. XLQ also supports testing a SOAP API as well. So for now we are going with REST. So click on the REST API, say a reference name that we are going to verify, login into QBank. Okay, specify the endpoint URL. Okay, and then the method type. So this is the post method type. And then we are going to pass in a payload. So once all these three details have been added, you can also add headers if your API uses any headers. And then you can say next. Now here you can need to add a payload. So either you can read it from a file or you can enter raw text. So our payload type is application.json. You can select various other payload types, XML or Base64 or mixed or plain or whatever is in your context of an API. So we are going to enter the raw text, which is basically the username and the password to log in. You can also see the outline of the payload and you can also change the payload inputs as an in input parameters global parameter etc. So for now we are just hard coding this. You can also read the payload from a file. So that is also well possible. So we send a request. Now once the rest request for login is sent, you will be able to see the status. So we have a status code of 200. You can add this verification. You can simply say add verification here. Once your verification is added, you will see that one verification has been added. You can also verify the headers. So say we want to verify the server name is cowboy. So we do that. You can also verify the response. Say we want to verify that the name is Thomas. And the email say is Thomas at QBank. Okay. Now the verification steps can also be based on input parameters, global parameters, etc. So for now, we are just using the literal, which is Thomas at QBank.com, but you can customize this as per your need. So we say save and click on save. So the moment you have done, you have passed your API details and then you have verified your response and ExcelQ automatically generates this particular code for invoking the rest service and then verifying the response. So let's run this test. So you click on this particular test. Similarly, now since this is an API that you're testing, there will be no browsers involved here. So you say run, wait for the agent to run. Setup is in progress.
after your API is run, you will see this particular result wherein the request has been executed. It has verified the status code. It has verified the header, which is cowboy. And it has also verified the username and the email address. So that's about it. It's as simple as this in Excel. Thank you. Hope you liked it.